it is interesting. So Hi, I'm Kate and welcome to my channel. I know I'm super up close today, but the better to see the look with. So I'm really excited to film today's video. This is a collaboration with my friend over on Instagram, Steven. I will link his socials below and his video of this. Steven and I have not met in person, but we communicate pretty often over on Instagram and he is just a ray of sunshine. He creates beautiful makeup looks, mostly indie makeup. So when we decided to collaborate, we wanted to find a palette that we have in common and do a palette bingo. So we have quite a few similarities in our collections. We have a lot of the same Natasha Denona, Nomad, but the palette we ended up going with is one that we thought would be really fun for a palette bingo and that's the Blend Bunny Surge palette. Now this is one that in a palette bingo could get really interesting because there's such a variety of finishes, a variety of shades and tones, a lot of which might not go together, which I think is really fun when it comes to a palette bingo. It really throws me out of my comfort zone. I would say most of the looks I do are fairly monochromatic, which this palette really lends itself to. Like if you go column by column, you know, there's a look right there that's pretty easy to create. So I'm excited to see what shades I will draw with this and what I create. And I'm really excited to see what colors Steven ends up with as well. So we decided to do five shades with the option of adding another one if we get like all mattes and want a shimmer. I don't mind an all matte look, so we will see. So there are 30 shades in this palette. So on my phone, I found a number generator and just put one through 30 and I'm just numbering them one through six all the way to 30. So just numbering across the rows. What I'm hoping for is at least one of the light shades in the top row as like a transition shade. I don't care too much about like the medium tones. I want at least one really dark shade and at least one neon. So those are like my three must-haves. I know there are already 12 in there, but I have it set from one to 30. I'm gonna swatch the colors on my hand. All right, my first shade is 19, which is this first shimmer right there. I'm happy with that. This shimmer kind of goes with everything. It's in pretty much like a champagne, but there are like some pink shimmer reflex in there. It's a beautiful shade and I feel like it'll go with any look that I want to create today. All right, I got 26, which is the neon orange. I do love this shade. So I got the neon I was hoping for. All right, so that's where we're at so far. I'll roll again. All right, I got 17, which is the deep like tealy shade. I mean, it's probably gonna even look black there, but it's a really deep like blackened teal. Actually, these three together would make a fun look. All right, let's roll again. All right, I got 23, which is the bluey teal shimmer. It's getting interesting. And I'll roll one more time. And I got 30, which is the lime green right there. All right, well, this is definitely gonna be a bold look. They're not really colors that I would pair together. I do a lot of green, but I don't really do a lot of orange or blue. This makes me really excited to see what colors Steven ended up with. All right. So once again, here is my color story. So I have two shimmers, one really deep shade, and then two of the neons. I don't even know what direction to take this. So maybe I'll focus like everything but the orange on the lid and maybe an orange lower lash line. I don't know. Either way, I'm all primed up and ready to go. So I'm gonna dive right in. What am I gonna do? I don't even know, because I don't have a transition shade, so I guess I'm gonna use neons for my transition. I'm going to start with the neon green, the shade Chemistry, and I'm just gonna start to kind of buff that kind of throughout the crease. When you pack these neons in, you can get a lot of really rich pigment, but I'm hoping just brushing it out and buffing it out, it will kind of act as a transition for me, so. We're just gonna start there. I have done a few looks with this palette, like all matte looks, where I, you know, focus some of the darker shades in the crease, and then I just pack a couple neons on the lid, and I love how they turn out. I'll see if I can find pictures and I'll post them here. So there's the green, and I do a lot of green looks, so I don't wanna just make this too green of a look. This is just an empty brush. I'm buffing out the edges. It is officially summer for me. Today's the first Saturday of the summer. The school year ended Thursday with students. Yesterday, I just finished packing up my classroom. I'll be returning to the same school. Next year will be my 15th year as a special education teacher. I'm take the dark teal on a brush. It'll be my third year at this building though. It was a really emotional day. I have a group of amazing fifth graders. So they're moving on to middle school next year and I've had them for the last two years. And it was a hard day on Thursday. A lot of tears, a lot of hugs. I just have really great 
kids. So I know this part looks pretty messy to start, but it's just kind of creating that base for me to go off of. I did use this palette the other day and created more of like an orangey look. I just don't know how I'm gonna incorporate like this would be a great start to a green look and like maybe pack the green shimmer on it. But I don't have that. I have the blue shimmer and the kind of neutral shimmer. But look at how easily those blended out. Like I feel like I barely had to work and it already looks nice and blended. Oh, I'm, I don't know if I want to do a cut crease today. That might be easier trying to incorporate the two shimmers. So maybe I'll do that. I'm gonna go off camera, cut the crease, and I'll be back with the shimmers. All right, for some reason, that was a really easy process today. Some days it's really hard, but okay. So I think I'm gonna focus the blue shimmer kind of on the outer part of that and then the neutral shimmer flash kind of in the front. So for the blue, I'm just gonna start with my finger and just start to tap that out here. So I think like a bluey green look is fun, but then I have that orange neon that needs to get incorporated. I do love the shimmers in this palette. This was, a lot of people had issues with them though. I have like the first batch of this palette. I think they have since reformulated their shimmers, but I had no issue with them. I thought they were really sparkly, easy to use. They stay in place. This palette ranked number one for me for 2021. I'll post my rankings palette below, but this was kind of an easy clear winner for me for the year. And I guess that is probably mostly for the mattes because I love all of the bright, colorful, unique mattes, but most of the looks I will use a shimmer. I guess the pink shimmer and the purple one I haven't used that much, but I'm gonna go in with the shade Flash and I am gonna grab this on a brush just to try to follow that cut crease. And then I'm gonna just blend it into that blue. It kinda looks harsh. We have my three and a half year old niece's dance recital today. So we'll see how crazy this ends up looking. I don't know if I'll leave this on or if I'll you know, take some pictures and then wash it off and go with something a little more normal. Although she does get really excited when I have fun colors on my eyes and she will comment on it. Like you have green eyes today, you have orange eyes today. And it's pretty cute. And I do go pretty crazy and bright to school most days too. So I have those shimmers blended into each other. They blended together really nicely. Do I want more of the blue? I'm gonna grab a little more of the blue gonna try to get kind of up close and pull that through a little more. Keep the blend really soft, but have the blue just take up a little more space maybe. All right, so, so far I have used every shade but the orange. I'm gonna dip back into the deepest shade and just redefine that on the outer corner. Yeah, I think the lime green worked as a transition. I don't know how well it'll show up on camera, but you can definitely see it in the look and I didn't lose it. All right, so that's where we're at. So again, I have the lime green kind of as a transition. I have that deep teal in the outer corner and then both shimmers on the lid. All I have left to use is the orange. So I will find a way to put that on the lower lash line without losing it. I'm gonna go off camera and do all of my skincare foundation and all that and I'll come back to finish up with the eyeshadows. All right, I'm back with all my face products on. The battery's like really close to dying so we'll see how fast I can go through this. I also went in on the waterline just with a black liner. I need to incorporate that orange so I'm gonna start though with the darkest shade and just build it up on the outer part of the lower lash line and then I'll hop into the orange. Going right here and not pulling that all the way in. I'm just keeping that kind of on the outer half. And then going into the orange, all right, tap some off. I'm gonna start that right in the front here and then I'm gonna use it to buff out the dark shade. And then I will, I think, really build it up on the front of the eye, like after I've kind of buffed everything out. This is a really unusual look for me. I don't know that I've ever paired green with blue with orange. But again, that's kind of the fun of these palette bingos is that it does force you to kind of look at palettes in a new way, kind of discover new combinations that you can make. Like every once in a while, I will do kind of a palette bingo on my own, like not filming, but just like, here's a palette I want to use. It has such a good variety. Like I'll already have a look in mind, but if I do kind of a number draw, what colors would I end up with and can I create something nice out of that? So now, okay, I'm gonna just take a little brush and 
dip into that orange and I'm gonna not tap it off right now and just pop it right here. So kind of as the inner corner and right below and just really build that up. I wanna have that orange. Actually, you know what? I'm also gonna drag it into that first shimmer just a little bit. I think that'll make it a little more cohesive. I dragged it up just a little bit. I think I'm done with the eyeshadow. It is an interesting look. I don't know that this is gonna be the look that I wear to my niece's recital today. We'll see. I'm gonna go off camera, just do some liner and mascara. I'll find a lip and I'll be back. I feel like this is really close, but I'm back with the final look. What do we think? I like it. <laughs> it's definitely out of my comfort zone having blue, green, and orange together for sure. And it's really bold. I didn't get any light shades. I got, you know, a couple of neons, two neons, two shimmers, and a really deep teal. For the lip today, I figured I'd just keep the bold going. I have one of the new nude lips from the Juvia's Place Nubian Earth collection. This is the shade Morocco, and it's like a nice orangey toned brown. I really like it. I've been really into kind of the brown grungy lips lately, kind of a 90s throwback. I was a child of the 90s, born in the 80s, but enough about that. This still remains one of my absolutely favorite palettes, and I'm so excited to see what colors Steven draws. I hope he gets some really fun, unique ones to put together as well. I will link his video down below, so please go check it out, give him some love, tell him I sent you. And if you found your way over here from Steven's video, thank you for stopping by. I've probably done like 15 to 20 looks with this palette, and every look I've enjoyed how it turns out. It is a palette that I'll be digging into a lot more this summer, just with all the fantastic neons. So just a review of what I used in this look. So I used the shade Linger, Flash, Underneath, Power, and Chemistry. Those are the five shades that I used in this look today. I don't know. Do I leave it on for the dance recital or do I take it off and do something a little more? I'll probably leave it on because I'm lazy and I don't care. So there you go. <laughs> Please go check out Steven's video. It is linked down below, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.